2017 was a year filled with many amazing films, some beginning new franchises while others ending decade long stories. So here are my top 5 films of 2017. Not many actors can say that they have played a character continuously for almost 17 years, but Hugh Jackman is one of them as he played the iconic character Wolverine for the final time in James Mangold's Logan earlier this year. Logan was a love letter to many different genres of film, from sci-fi to westerns, and was a fantastic final word on the character that grew from just some guy with some claws and anger issues into a compelling, tragic character. The movie did a fantastic job celebrating the character of Wolverine over the years and wasn't afraid to dive headfirst into the violence and sadness surrounding the character. Not many franchises end on a good note these days, but Hugh Jackman's Wolverine went out with a bang. Jim and Andy is a film I have been looking forward to for a very long time. The Netflix original documentary looks at the transformation comedian Jim Carrey went through to play legendary comedian Andy Kaufman in the film Man on the Moon, showcasing never before seen footage from the movie set shot by Jim and his own documentary crew. The documentary delves into what becoming one of your heroes does to your mind and the rabbit hole Jim found himself falling down. The film is a celebration of Andy's life and tries to open up his life to people who might not have known who he was. It also does a great job of showing how much Andy meant to Jim Carrey and how he influenced Jim's own career. Thor Ragnarok was Marvel Studios upping their ante by giving the God of Thunder to New Zealand filmmaker Taika Waititi, who threw everything out the previous films had done instead embracing the weird and wonderful Jack Kirby-esque designs, and adding some of his own trademark comedy to it. This led to the film looking utterly amazing as well as having loads of heart. Thor Ragnarok was also charged with changing the status quo of our titular character, leaving him hammerless and having to grow up up quickly to become the leader of his people. Everything in the film came together really well and led to an utterly wonderful time at the cinema. Star Wars The Last Jedi is a movie people seem to love to hate. Ryan Johnson's entry into the Star Wars saga looked to shake things up a lot, with one of the many messages the movie poses being leaving the past behind and embracing the future. For some people, this didn't really sit well for them, but for me, it led to a wholly amazing film experience that expanded on many of the already existing Star Wars ethoses and creating new ones at the same time. New ones that I can't wait to see explored in Episode 9 and Ryan Johnson's own Star Wars trilogy. The film also contained the final role of the late great Carrie Fisher, who in the film delivers one of her best performances, along with Adam Driver and Mark Hamill also providing their best performances, Mark providing probably the best one of his entire career. My favourite film of 2017 came as a complete surprise to me, since it is a sequel to a 30 year old film could have very well have been a rehash of the original, playing up to fanfare. Denny Vananuvu's sequel however is utterly original, yet still respectful of the original film. The movie in both audio and visual aspects is purely amazing, featuring one of Hans Zimmer's better scores as of late, and cinematography by the legendary Roger Deakins. It's the acting however where the movie really shines through, with incredible performances from Ryan Gosling as the replicant hunting replicant, Anna Diamas as his holographic muse, and Harrison Ford actually giving a shit this time round. If you haven't seen this film yet, definitely find time to do so, as it is an incredible cinematic experience. And that is my top 5 films of 2017. I hope you enjoyed it and comment down below what your top 5 films of 2017 were. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS, or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.